Alright, thanks for being patient, guys, because you know I always lose something. I gotta try to log into my own Twitch account or find my headset, something weird. No flash photography, really. Um, I really don't remember what this is about. I just, I think it's some kind of backwater swamp mystery. That's as much as I got. Act one. Deep, a swamp noir in three acts. You can lose, you can friends, lose friends, respect, respect and, and the moral high ground. Can't lose the game. Alright. You're the star, playing our three main characters Blogger Romana T, Print Reporter Jack Bellin, and Detective Casey Gaddis. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, the Prologue <coughs> Theater welcomes you to this production. Please, no videos or flash photography. Enjoy the show. Surprise, the dangling corpse. They never really made this illegal in the United States to actually hang somebody, so I'm just saying. Let's just throw that out there. Hold on, I'm gonna get this right now. Jim Larmo, janitor at Chief Roadside's Wonderland, finds a new mess to clean. 
the demise of has-been Hollywood star Tag Kern. It's a horrible job on the best of days. Not the best of days. Shit, not again. Meanwhile, on I-95, Romana Teague stuck in traffic, dodging her editor, hunting for a last chance. Yeah, let me check my phone. Not much else to do while the traffic crawls. So much for a weird mentality. Hanging was too good for him? Ooh. What do I sense shade? So young and soon to be so unemployed. Boing boing cartoon sound effects. Just the right touch. Could save my ass with money. Yeah, that was strange as fun. During the game, your post reports pick a source and a clue. Then assign a spin. Choose cautious as you are inflammatory. Well, I like edgy. Operation Amaze Balls and the occasional RT picture like exist exist But will he now be remembered for killing himself in a Florida tourist trap? Authorities say Karen hanged himself from a tower at Chief Earthside Wonderland. Oh. The traffic doesn't seem to be in any hurry to break gridlock. I didn't think it would take him so long to call. Fame scale. Why am I here? Always great to meet fans who don't drool much. Why am I here? You've been in the thick of the current story. That's what I do. Or did. Once upon a time, anyway. <laughs> Good gig. Kept me and the cat from living in the car. We've got some questions. Not a lot of people left to give answers. That's on you, I think. That's the narrative you want to spin? Fine. 
Why'd you get sacked? I was in a hurry. Took a source at their word for a story. Published on the blog without verifying. Stupid mistake. Your editor must have been furious. Can't blame him. I'm mad at myself, too. So, that's what it takes to lose a job you can do in pajamas. Let's start from the top. You were in traffic outside Jacksonville two days ago when you heard the news, right? Yeah, the internet went nuts over another dead actor. Tag Kern killed himself, they said. That wasn't even the real story. Wish you would have fell. <laughs> Clues, lore, and archives reports are in the journal. Open the journal to chapter 5. Reports on the internet suggest that Hollywood has been. Oh, Hollywood has been. Has been. Tag Kern killed himself at an old Florida tourist trap called Chief's Roast Life Wonderland. Okay. Miss Phaedra finds herself in the forgotten terrace town of Cypress Knee. Three years I've been blogging for fan rage. Guess Kern's death is my last hurrah. Or maybe it saves my job. Or lands me a new one somewhere else. I remember hearing about an incestuous family living in an old school bus here once. Headlines back in 2004 talked about Aunt Mom and Uncle Dad. Ew. More going on with Kern than it than appears. Who's this? You're not in my contest list. My big friend, call me anonymous. Seems straightforward. Hanged himself from a Tacky Indian Tower, not no great mystery. Not so open and shut. What do you know about it? A few things so will help when I can. Start with Gordon Cordray, Church Bigwig. Till next time. Hi, Lenny. Finally answering your phone. I've spent all day with lawyers thanks to your colossal shitstorm. And I'm really sorry about the mess, Lenny. Deandra and Alistair's people are talking civil action, Romana. It's gonna get ugly. How did this happen? <laughs> A maid at the Teal Towers told me she saw Deandra making out with Angie. Yeah, I read the story. So did a million other people. She's not gay. Baby's favorite mom. Bet our hits spiked through the roof, though, right? You screwed up before, but never anything of this magnitude. Go big or go home, yeah? You're on your ninth life, kitty. Tell me. How you plan to justify your phony baloney job now? I'm at ground zero for the death of Tad Kerr. Get something online soon. Make it good. And no more mistakes. I can make sure it's interesting, or I can make sure it's correct. 
No guarantees for both. Investigate protest. Don't support the tyranny of institutional racism. Chief Roadsides is a culturally insensitive relic. It's tacky, sure, but it's mostly harmless. How can you say it's harmless? It depicts Native Americans with demeaning stereotypes. If you weep a single tear when you say that, I bet it'd be super effective. Seriously? I'm here about Tag Kern, anyway. Oh, right, you're that blogger. Phaedra? I read your stuff. Sad about Kern. I really wanted another operation of maze balls. What's with the fancy motor coach? Those folks are with the Church of Us. You know, the Weists. Kern was one of them. Maybe they can tell me more. Maybe. Or maybe they'll try to brainwash you into joining their crazy cult. I'm not worried about that. Never been much of a joiner. Native American Robert would step protest against the racial stereotypes embodied by Chief Roadside's Wonderland in Cypress Knee. The town may be best known for incestuous couples. Let's go cautious for this one. Robert would step a Native American resident of Cypress Knee with the owners of the to abandon harmful stereotypes. With a sign that reads Chief Downsides amidst the chaotic swirl of coverage. Played it safe on that one. Wake me when news happens, Raider. You're a prismatic, at the very least. That's confusing. That makes as much sense as clock hands on a spoon. Are you ready for the opto levels test? One time offer, I'm afraid. An opto, huh? The test measures your status within the Church of Us. The lowest possible level is primordial. The highest rank one may attain is dark matter. Gotcha. Are you ready? Sure. Help us help you send yourself by answering a series of questions. Don't be self-conscious. Answers are not right or wrong. Start. Let's get on with it. Choose the best color. Even the color smells pretty. One hundred seven thirty three one. If it was a fever, I'd be dying. Which smells best? Ew, rainy day. Leave the sad away. Are aliens among us? Most yeah. certainly. Are you even really trying? Yes, yeah. absolutely. Your greatest ambition. Build something to last. Ar architect. Ar fuck. <laughs> Architel. Architelpool. Ar shut up. Shut up, let me learn. Nice start, rookie. Keep shining. He'll catch up with you later to talk about Kern. I did all right, huh? Later, Phaedra. All right. Time to chat with the man who found Kern dangling from that tower.
I watched Apollo 11 launch from that tower back when I was your age. That rocket must have been really small to fit on that tower before launch. You should have seen the guys inside. Can you confirm that the man hanging from the tower tonight was Tad Kern? Sure looked like him. Had a wallet with his driver's license inside, too. How'd that DMV picture look? Mine adds 20 years and a healthy dose of meth addict. Didn't give it much more than a glimpse, but you know he looked a lot taller in the movies. Shrimpy, dude. Was Kern alone? Nope, he was here with some folks from the Red Eclipse movie studio. Location filming, I think. Did you notice anything strange before Kern died? Not really. Saw him leaving Hungry Cheeps after an early dinner. Is that weird? Any idea why Kern killed himself? Have you seen his latest movies? Did Kern scream at the last second? Like, maybe he changed his mind? That's a morbid question. But no, he didn't scream. Not that I heard. Are the Red Eclipse folks still here? No, I think so. Last I saw, they were hanging out at Hungry Chiefs. Really? They're just sitting around some dusty, greasy spoon? Hey, some people drown their sorrows in a bottle of beer. Others gorge on Scout Burgers and supersized sodas. Never change. Remy Bay, you didn't know. You can't put a convenience store close to a supermarket in Indonesia. That's good to know. Remy, always happy to help. We'll talk again. This is a strange conversation starter. I bet it's Better get what I can to the blog before Lenny pops an aneurysm. Said it may upset his friend. If you're his friends, why you couldn't tell he was fucking suicidal? Miss T, you certainly didn't waste any time getting here. But that's the way you work, right? Always in a hurry. Don't you think you should have seen this coming? Huh, maybe I should have. I feel terrible about it. If I'd known better, I could have reached out. Poor little dude. Enough chit chat. Did Kern say or do anything that seemed suicidal? Honestly, he seemed broody. Tag lost a lot of confidence after this topic 12 and Nietzsche. I'm curious about something, though. Hmm? Found a way back to the screen with a homemade noose. Don't you think that was a little harsh? Good talk. Sometimes I think ZTM gave you a raw deal when they called you Hollywood's emptiest suit. <clears throat> Wait, is that Remy? T oh, wait, what the? Dude, did you? Remy, bet you didn't know all Spanish moss comes from one ancient dude's beard. He chased a girl up a tree. Wait, wait, wait. Didn't I just see you over at the Fun and Fuel? Remy gets around. Wow. 
You saw Kern before he died, didn't you? Sure did. Served him a scout burger special. Fresh meat and everything. He ate like a hungry raccoon. Did Kern seem upset? Depressed? Angry? Remy might have made him a little mad. Told him how awful Meacham was. Does the menu offer vegan options? No, man. Just meat. I like meat chunks in my yogurt. Tasty. Oh, by the way, Remy heard Cordray talking about you. He wanted a word. I can't believe this is happening. Why'd Kern want to kill himself? That's the thing. He wasn't depressed or anything. He really liked where the new project was going. Do you plan to cash in on his death with a kiss-and-tell memoir? I'm offended you'd even ask. And another thing. Yes? Do you actually think before you post that trash? Time to polish up your dating profile, right? Oh, <laughs> maybe that was a little harsh. <laughs> that was way more harsh than the fucking thing. It's such a tragedy. What happened to your mother? She deserved better. I want information about Tad Kern. Leave her out of this. I can tell you that he held a ranking of dark matter, a rarity among those in the Church of Us. How big is the Church of Us? We've got six million members worldwide at last count, growing every day. Such a pleasing sight. I am pleased at the very least. But you show some aptitude for the ways of the church. What can the church do for me? The church of us can provide guidance, both career-oriented and spiritual. We offer counseling and networking opportunities. For giggles, what sort of career advice would you give me? Are you happy? Sure. Are you not lying and deceiving yourself? The church can help you find the right professional path. I'm good at what I do. Why change? Mixed opinions about Kern's death, obviously. Miller, the movie director, claimed Kern was depressed. Tina Gray thought Kern seemed happy. Remy seemed mostly neutral, except when it came to Meacham. Miller didn't think Kern had an appetite. But Remy described a pretty big last meal. And what's the deal with creepy Gordon Cordray? Might have to call her about him. Surprise! First call home in a couple of years. In a couple of years? Girl. Hold on. Tina Gray. I'll go cautious with that. To me, I feel like tell us about the ball this source of news, the one who calls me? himself anonymous. Somebody's got to know something. He's just this erratic behavior. It's overeating, oversleeping, <clears throat> withdrawal. Nobody goes from super happy. Oh my god, let's do this. Let's do that. Let's make plans. Let's have a date. Let's do this. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, everything. And then wake up and fucking hook. And everybody's story was conflicting. But if you feel like it's foul play, then I'll believe the girlfriend, if anything. That she's more, she's not just around him, she's around him in different ways, more intimate, you know what I mean? Okay, tell us about the source of yours, the one who called himself anonymous. I'm, I'm not certain. sure. 
Might be you, for all I know. Do you realize how much trouble you've caused? Oh, I'm just getting started. New girl trophy. The other trophy was uh, playing the cost or something like that. Earlier, at Trail's End in Cypress Knee, another death investigation. What? Let me bring in the bring in the kid was wrong. My night was re Reggie. Another bit of news. One more item for the cop blotter in the Cypress knee notice. Wonder what happened here. I wish I didn't have to bring Reggie to a crime scene when I promised him ice cream. Is that man really dead, Daddy? Yeah. Stay here while I talk to Ozzy. Okay. <laughs> I didn't think we were gonna be that honest. Look, you know, son, sometimes people live, people die, and you know, when it's your time. You know, something sentimental with it. Is that guy really dead, Dad? Yeah. Stay so here, I gotta go talk to Muddy. The fuck? Okay, but then ice cream. You promise. I'm glad he's over it. Shit. I don't know which one's worse. Evening, Jack. Evening, Jack. Hey, Ozzy, tell me the news. Mr. Swayhill here tried to bore a hole in his engine block with a 22 caliber pistol. Ricochet right through the left eye. Oof. Natural selection at work, ladies and gentlemen. I know, right? Anything else? Hmm. About Swayhill, no. But I was curious. What brought you back to Cypress Knee? I figured you'd be on to much bigger things. I pissed off the wrong people. I know a second version. Sounds like we got another dangler at Chief Roadsides. Someone famous. Might be Fever. Oh, shit. <laughs> Jackson Lawrence Bellet, you brought our son to a crime scene? Well, where the fuck was I supposed to take him? You got these other kids that live in the neighborhood out here. What the fuck is your problem? You can live with them, Jack. Shut up, bitch. Got a job to do. Get off my ass, Tamara. Don't take that tone with me, Jack. I'll get shared custody revoked. Yeah, okay, fine. Just doing my job. Working for that shit newspaper is not much of a job. Too bad Jacksonville won't take you back. I like writing for the notice. Big fish, small pond. What's not to like? I remember when you had ambition. No one's getting rich in print journalism, Tam. It pays the bills. Whatever, Jack. You've turned into such a disappointment. I keep hoping you'll turn it around. Maybe not for me, but for your son. Speaking of Reggie, I've got to check out this other dead body call over at Chief Roadsides. It's your night with him. I've got clients here looking at mobile home rental options. It's my job. You want him to see another corpse? Fine. You'll owe me. That never changes. Chief Roadside's Wonderland suffers from a double-edged fact. It is and isn't what it used to be. The Silloway family built this place in the 1960s. Back then, white folks really didn't think twice about whether they offended other cultures. Now, the Wonderland's an appalling relic. Most motorists zoom right by. Never giving a second look. 
Who gives a damn about cultural sensitivity tonight, though, right? We've got a dead actor, right on the outskirts of Cyprus Knee. Big news in my backyard. Some people don't give a possum's pecker whether Tag Kern's alive or dead. We got bigger problems. Mr. Gallant, glad to see you're alive and well. Could I ask a few questions for the notice? I'll answer any questions you got about the Golden Cypress project across the road. Uh, just give me the bottom line, please. They're pumping natural gas from below Cypress Swamp for a big development project. They want to run a pipeline through my house. Developers can't do that without permits. Some people know how to work their way around that process. Powerful people. Look, thanks for your time, but I really should talk to someone about Kern. Don't be an irresponsible jackass. I can point you to proof of government malfeasance right here at Chief Roadside. All right, Mr. Gallon. What's the proof? Go see who's parked outside the Mohawk Inn. It'll be interesting. I guarantee it. I'll humor you this one time. In the parking lot of the Mohawk Inn, you spy an official town car from Cypress Knee. Closer inspection suggests it's the town car assigned to Gary Buckingham, chairman of the Cypress Knee Council. Guess Gallon was right. Time to find a wayward town official at the motel. <coughs> Evening, Tamara. I don't have time to fight right now. Why do you always assume I'm calling the five? Hey. My bad. Go ahead. I'm taking Reggie to the lodge before we go to the Fountain Day Festival. I kinda promised he could have ice cream, too. Yes, Jack, I know. It's all he talks about. Thanks for that. I have to go. Great chatting with you, as always. Gallant property is an obstacle. Eminent Domain's a tough nut to crack on this project. That's their idea of pillow talk? Tough, maybe. Not impossible, right? It's possible. Expensive, though. We're not just budging dates on a permit here. Housekeeping, Jim. It's Jack Billet from the Notice, Mr. Chairman. Huh? Well, I guess you better come in then. What brings you to Chief Roadsides, Jack? Great question. Not much of a hangout for locals, usually. Fancy seeing you here and you. Oh no, I I'm here alone. Two people were talking in here, man and woman. The senses play tricks out here by the highway. I bet she's in the bathroom. Windows jammed, Gary. It's not what it looks like. Looks like the town council chairman and the chief planning officer skulking around a sleazy motel. Okay, so it is what it looks like, but it's not what you think. You're hatching some scheme to get the gallant land through eminent domain. Fine. It is what you think. But you can't prove it with circumcised evidence. Circumcised evidence? I think you mean circumstantial. You're right. <laughs> no, Eula. If I meant taking the long way round, I'd say that. <laughs> oh, I think that's circumlocution. It's got nothing to do with putting anybody in the electric chair. Anyway, oh, wow. Jack, how's the wife and keep? Divorce is finalized. Tamara wants full custody of Reggie. 
So, you know, just great. Oh, anyway, can we all agree this isn't newsworthy? Well, it's... Two public servants conspiring to steal land sounds like news to me. Sounds like news to me, too. Especially if you get away with it. Evening, Jack. You're coming with the rest of the sharks, huh? Just going where the news is, Jim. What can you tell me about a famous dead guy hanging from the tower? Hey, I didn't know he was famous right away. Imagine my surprise. Did anything unusual happen before Kern offed himself? Things got heated between him and a few others during his stay. His girlfriend, the director, even his church pal, Cordray. Know anything about the big development across the road? I know J.D. Gallant won't shut up about it. Thanks. sure you're in the right place? I ask myself that question a lot. I'm sure you have many questions. Perhaps I can help you with deeper questions? Good to know. But I'd like to talk about Kern. What do you want to know? How long was Kern a weist? Really, Mr. Bellet? Must you use the pejorative term? He was a member in good standing for 11 years. Did you talk to Kern at all today? Briefly. We had a counseling session this morning. Confidential, of course. Did Kern seem upset, depressed? Anything that might suggest he was suicidal? I can't offer specific details due to the confidential nature of our relationship. Is there anything else? I'm done for now. Mr. Bellet, perhaps you'd like to sit and take our test. I'm not here to take some flaky test. Then excuse me, I have pressing matters. Seen the chief road sites. Inmates running the asylum over there, or what? Kern's dead, but maybe he's not the story. Listen to me. If it bleeds, it leads. I want a story on Kern. Hell, I could even use some inches on Swayo. I know, but I caught Gary Buckingham and Eula Dean conspiring to seize land on the Golden Cypress deal. I hear you, boss. Hmm. Jack Swayhill of the Trailer Park Swayhills died today while performing engine block repairs with a 22. A lack of drills at the trail's end mobile home park may have led Swayhill to resort to alternative boring methods. Not surprised by the turn of events and report on Swayhill's pitfall was a witness to the accident. Fast. 
Hi, boss. Got your story on the trail then shooting. It's not current, but it'll do. Do yourself a favor and listen to me next time, Jack. I'll try. Well, that's the information he has. That's guaranteed. Y'all still got to investigate. Why are you hampering an FBI investigation? I think I've been played. You could go to prison and face a major fine, Mr. Bellet. I could lose my son. That'd be so much worse. Hometown news. I was a hero. I saved lives. I had a badge. It meant something. I used to matter. Times change, Monroe. Left small town Florida. Got a job as a Hollywood cop turned private investigator. Pissed off the wrong people too many times. Now, I'm back in Florida. Can't even hold a job as a mall cop. Yeah, been a hard year. Caught the asshole, slapping around his girlfriend, one of the cashiers. She took his side. Thanks, right? I used to matter. Not anymore. End of the road, bro. Whoa, hey, whoa, wait a minute, sir. Sir, wait a minute. Hold on. Salt sounds like. Red Eclipse Studios wants you to ask around, get a full account of what happened. All right, on my way. Monroe, let's go home. Talk about that phone call, just say that. anymore but this Florida cracker town helped make me what I am today Wow <laughs> broken desperate a man on the edge of the abyss clutching for one last lifeline in this forgotten little town doubt you've heard of it until tonight at least thanks to tag Kern I met him once. He shadowed me while researching his role in Copzilla. The corpse might still be warm, but something tells me those vultures from the Church of Us aren't far away. It's in the air. That stench of weest self-importance and smirking menace. Thanks for tweeting. Bofina. Ah, glad you could make it, Casey. It's good to be home. I didn't realize I missed the stink of this. What is that smell? The swamp, right? Ugh, can't wait to get out of here. <laughs> Let's cut to the chase so I can start the meter. Why does Red Eclipse want Kern's death looked at? Look, the studio can't wait for the official police findings. Why is that exactly? A lot of money is at stake. 
Insurance claims need to be made ASAP. Frankly, we don't have faith in these Barney Fife types. Bean count. World comes to a standstill if their ledgers don't tally. Okay, I'll do what I do. Send you regular reports. Remy bet you didn't know the Alien movies referenced Joseph Conrad. Yeah, that's cool. You mind answering a few questions? Remy don't mind. Remy knows sometimes people not want to talk to Remy. Remy not sure why. Maybe because Remy speaks in third person? What can you tell me about Kern's stay here? Do you see or hear anything unusual? Remy tell Kern Meacham sucked. Remy helped you get zero cabbages on stinkycabbage.com. Not sure that would cause him to kill himself. Anything else you can think of? Remy wonder why you working for Miller. Remy hear Miller. Remy know he lied to you. How would you know that? Remy know. Remy see Miller out in the swamp with golden cypress men in suits. What's that got to do with anything? Remy think Miller looked too happy in the swamp to complain. Good point. Miller wouldn't ruin $500 Italian leather shoes for no reason. Remy wonder why you working for Miller. The studio needs to process their insurance claim quickly. Pound of current flesh, you know. Remy wonder why. Remy no movies. Remy no production insurance not pay for actor's suicide. I should have known that. Maybe I'm too rusty at this. Yeah, maybe you're too rusty at this, bro. You and Donovan go back a ways, I hear. Yeah, back in my Hollywood glory days. So, are you brawn or brains for hire? I'd say I can use both when needed. Multi-talented then. Interesting. Listen, the studio has got me looking into Kern's death. You mind answering some questions? Of course. I just can't believe Tank would kill himself. He was in a good place. Someone offed him? Anything would be more believable. Tag had run-ins with some of these hicks. That burger flipper, for example. That reminds me. Any idea what Donovan was doing out in the swamp recently? I have no idea. Probably scouting shooting locations? Yeah. Plausible, but not really. I think it's time to make a report. Get paid. Let's do this. look familiar? Janelle Teague. Does that name sound familiar? Got hired to work a case a couple decades ago. She was caught up in it. Sad. That's my mom, asshole. Wow. <laughs> you still know how to make a good first impression. Maybe I had that coming. Hard at work, then? Save it, Don. Monroe and I are on the clock. Keep up the good work. And quit ginning up your dog's expenses. <laughs> hire me. You hire the dog. Colt.
Kid, you won't believe how glad I am to see you. It's been a long time since I heard decent swamp hermit crazy talk. I'm the only sane person in a world gone mad. I'm here on a job investigating the death of Tag Kern. It's kind of a big deal to the movie studio. Who gives a damn about another dead actor? They're destroying Cypress Swamp. I need the income. You didn't used to be all about the money. I'll touch base with you later. Haven't seen you in these parts for a long, long time. You see the post about me on Fan Rage? Yeah, nice work finding the silver lining in Tag Kern's death. Sad about the actor, but can't complain when it puts eyes on an important cause. You keep in touch with anyone else from Heck High Class of 84? Still got a few folks in town, sure. Some left and came back like Jack Bellet. You back for good? Maybe if I hang myself from that tower first. coming to visit, but I scarcely believed you'd have the temerity to show your face. I'm shocked you know the word temerity, Cordray. I'm certain it would astonish you to learn how much I know that you do not, Mr. Gaddis. Oh, I don't know. I figure the church has its tentacles in deeper than the NSA. It's hard to forget all the damage you caused. A woman's life ruined? A successful man dead? Gordo, your friend Conover messed around with an underage girl. I didn't cause the damage he did. Keep telling yourself that, Mr. Gaddis. Count on it. Notice how they didn't give me the option to go back and talk to You've that guy. You've been busy, Mr. Gaddis. Who are you people? Show me some ID or we're done talking. No one is liable to miss you for a while, sir. You looking for a ransom? Extortion money? No one cares, and I'm dead broke. Not about money, Mr. Gaddis. In my experience, it's almost always about money. You've nursed a grudge against the Church of Us for a long time, haven't you? I guess it's a hobby. All this over a movie mogul and an actress 20 years ago. No, they hit closer to home when I was a kid, bankrupted my dad, bled him dry after they told him he was a quantum. What's your plan after payback? After everything you've done? Are you satisfied? Oh man, I'm just getting started. On the case. Achievement. After Hungry Chiefs, I made my way to the Mohawk Inn for a look at Kern's room. After talking to his friends, something just didn't sit right about the official story. Wow, Mom, I was just thinking about you. Saw your post about Tankard's girlfriend. So sad, and such a shock. Yeah, pretty bleak.
Only so many hours in a day. Come home soon. Soon as I can. Fifty dollars a night. No pets. Especially ferrets. What's your beef against sleek rodents? They're stinky, psychotic little fur monkeys. And they hide inside socks. How qualified are you to diagnose a rodent psychosis? What do you want? I'm a blogger with fan rage. Maybe you've read my stuff? Phaedra? Anyway, hoping to look inside Tag Kern's room. Yeah? Well, it's sealed off. You've got as much chance as I do of visiting Taylor Swift's dressing room tonight. It's for a good cause. Doubt it'll help me to help you. Want in that room? Talk to Ozzy Clendenin. He's standing guard outside. Did I mention I'm with Fan Rage, Mr. Silloway? I know who you are. My daughter reads your Blark thingy. Ain't like you cure cancer. Fine. Notice anything during Kern's stay here? Well, I saw Kern and his little girlfriend arguing. I gather things weren't all pop and sizzle in the sack. You're sure? She called him a flaccid, passionless mattress lump. <laughs> Could be I'm misinterpreting, but I'm mostly sure. Thanks for your time. Uh, before you go, little girl, uh, something else I should tell you. What's that? Everybody's all wrong about Kirk. Didn't hang himself. He had help. How do you know? I was outside having a smoke when it happened. Saw two people up there. Looked like they were struggling. Violently? They weren't hugging. Did you keep it to yourself or alert the police? Chief Pendleton got the security camera footage from my computer after I told him. Show me. I wish I could. He took the hard drive. That's suspicious. Yeah, let's go inflammatory with this one. Murder makes more sense than suicide. Just need to figure out who did it and why. Maybe a disgruntled fan? That's one possibility. Sorry, miss. No one goes inside without proper authorization. Don't you recognize me? I'm Phaedra from FanRage. Oh, sure. You're the one accusing cops like me of covering up security footage. My readers deserve to know what really happened up... I'm not at liberty to discuss details of an active criminal investigation. Fine. Can I get a look inside Kern's motel room? Not without proper authorization. How do I get authorized? Your media. I doubt you can get authorized. Proper law enforcement can contact the Cypress Knee Police Department and request a QR code for credentials. That sounds like a major pain in the ass.
Good evening, Lurleen. I'm Special Agent Saxton from the FBI. Could you provide me a QR code for credentials? Absolutely, sugar. Just give me a badge number for confirmation. Eight six seven five three zero nine. Okay, look, I'm not an FBI agent. I'm a blogger for FanRage. My work name is Phaedra. Oh, yeah. You're the one claiming my husband's hiding evidence from the press. Fuck. Bless your sweet little heart. Bye now. News hounds, you surf to a page with submission form for acquiring. Like I said, Miss T, no authorization, no access. Like I said, Miss T, no authorization. Here is my stinking badge. Wait, what? Seriously? Just like that? Totally legit. Well, whack me in the head with a gavel and call me a swamp ape. Okay, I guess.
Meet at Tower of 530. Interesting. His email from Gilbert Agency. Hey, tag along. Great to hear Miller's moving ahead with hard time. We got good feelings, buddy. Good feelings. And if this doesn't work out, if it, yeah. 11. If this doesn't work out, I've got a script for, okay, for Operation Amaze Balls. 12 that you'll absolutely love not as good as 2 but so much better than 9 10 and well the, the less said about 11 the better right Carrot Top and Corey Feldman really want you back in the lead role later received a policy document signed and notarized as per your request the church of us is the sole designated beneficiary in the event of your death. Ooh. Okay, hold on, hold on. Email Golden Cypress. Buddy, so glad we've got to show you around Golden Cypress the other day. You on board? this train it's sailing soon lunch tomorrow if you want my treat down at the the watch g book <laughs> tina won't let go this is a journal entry i'm sure tina believes it when she says she loves me i wish it were mutual it's not she needs to let go holding out hope like this is just not healthy i'll make a clean break of it next time we talk mm. This diet is not doing me any favors. Pine nuts makes me gassy. Makes for really awkward kickback in the seats. <laughs> Edgy. Fans, okay, so if I go edgy, fans lost their favorite actor when Ty Kern died today. But it wasn't bad news for everyone. The Church of Us, it seems, gets a payout for his demise. And an email obtained by friend Rage, Kent Epstein, told Kern that the new insurance policy documents naming Church of Us as sole beneficiary were signed and notarized. Let's go, Edgy. Ferreting out the facts. Insurance angles interesting. Maybe more smoke than fire? Do better next time. How'd it feel running into Casey Gaddis at Chief Roadside? Super fun hoopy times. 
On a scale of 1 to 9,000, I give it a zebra. You believe Tina Gray was innocent? Kern's post in the tablet didn't help her situation, but it wasn't enough to condemn her in the blog. Gordon Cordray much, did you? Should have heard how he talked to me, condescending asshole. What happened after you met Cordray the first time? Wandered over to Hungry Chiefs for a word with the movie studio folks about Kern. Well, Mr. Cordray, just wanted to offer my condolences. Thanks, Chief Pendleton. Tag Kern meant a lot to the church and to me personally. It's a terrible loss. We're going to bring whoever killed him to justice. Count on that. Got any prime suspects? Sorry, Jack. Can't comment on an active investigation. You know the drill. Don't you ever get sick of it. Just once, don't you want to tell me everything you know? Think about how liberating that'd be. I'd be liberated right out of a job. So I hear your boy's signing up for Little League. The ex-wife wants him to play more than video games. We'll see how he does. I'll be his coach if he makes the cut. Well, considering all the trophies you won in high school, that should be great for the team. Thanks, Jack. Now, if you'll excuse me, I should catch up with Ozzy and compare notes before we take our next step. I appreciate your silence on the matter of my counseling sessions with Mr. Kern. It's not the sort of thing normal folks care about. Not quite on point, but I suppose it'll do. Really, it's for the best you refrain from taking our test. Undoubtedly. You'd have been... disappointed. I'd probably surprise you. Why are you bothering me? Tina Gray's not a member of your freak show, is she? Our membership roster is confidential. really something, the ricochet dude dying? Do you get a lot of stories like that in Cypress Knee? Darwin Award material? We're no crazier than anywhere else. <laughs> Don't be so modest, Mr. Bellet. Truth is, the rest of the country funnels all the crazy to Florida. It's the climate. So what's really happening here, Miss Gray? They're trying to make me take a fall because it's convenient. The truth's complicated. Enlighten me. I shouldn't. It'll just make things worse. Don't hold back on this complicated truth of yours. I want to hear it. It's beyond you, Florida man. Remy bet you didn't know gunshots and whips make the typewriter noises at the start of all the president's men. I can always count on you for something new to ponder. You want anything else? Stout burger? Fries? Warm mayonnaise pie? Is that actually a thing? Warm mayonnaise pie? Remy trying new menu experiments. Next time? Shrimp in a used diaper. Okay. Didn't you know Jack Swayhill over at Trails End? Remy, sure. Sad to hear what happened. Did it surprise you? Sure. Remy known him a long time. 
Remy always thought he was a competent mechanic. Shooting a hole in an engine block doesn't sound competent. Nope, Remy got no argument there. Maybe Jack got to drink. Ozzie Clendenning didn't mention alcohol when I talked to him earlier. Remy guessed maybe Jack not drunk at the time, huh? A <laughs> dude shot himself in the face trying to fix his car? <laughs> Florida, man. Gotta love it or nuke it from orbit, right? He definitely didn't score any points for style. That bit about the trailer park sway hills was a nice touch. We should talk about a movie treatment sometime. Would you say Kern's cause of death makes him as dumb or dumber than Jack Swayhill? There's a big difference between dumbass and desperation, Mr. Bellet. Well, son of a bitch. It's just one happy reunion after another in Chief Roadside's Wonderland. Casey Gaddis. Can't forget the dick who weaseled his way into my quarterback spot on the heck high football team. Not my fault you couldn't find your way out of this town, man. Your backstabbing cost me a scholarship to Florida State. I could have gone pro. Keep telling yourself that, Jack. We'll go cautious with this one. Make it semi-professional. Yeah? Nice work on the current piece. Thanks. Not really. It's regular. But okay. Played it smarter. Maybe I could have landed at the LA Times or the Washington Post. I let my pride wreck a perfectly solid career. Got overlooked for an editorial promotion and called a publisher a Machiavellian asshole. I was right. But I should have kept it to myself. So here I am, back at the Mohawk Inn. I'm still curious about a few things. The more I chase the story Ross wants, the crankier I get. I know I'm paid to do the work he wants. I get that. But I'm a journalist. No matter how far I've fallen from my golden boy days, I don't want to run from real news. Maybe he'll fire me. Maybe that's okay. I'll get motivated to do something new. Maybe I wasn't meant to always be a journalist. Better dig a little more while I'm still employed. Let's see what Rutledge Silloway can offer in the way of news. Evening, Jack. Ross got you working the tag Kern story like everybody else? Kern's the corpse of the ass. Suck for you. Hunt and sloppy seconds behind that blogger girl. I just can't keep up. Don't I know that feeling? More people go by here in a day than used to go by in a year. 
We're lucky if it doesn't stop by to refuel or grab a snack. Time passes us all by, and we're left munching dust and love bugs in its wake. Sad to see you settling for some out-of-towner's scraps. I'm more interested in what's going on with Golden Cypress. How's that news? Everyone knows the development's coming. Not everyone knows that Gary Buckingham and Eula Dean are conspiring to ram a pipeline through Cypress Swamp. Now, now, Jack, you want to be careful going around with your mouth half-cocked like that. You shouldn't feel threatened by the truth or you've done nothing wrong. If you say so. Depends on how you spin it. How's Ross feel about it? My readers deserve the truth. Maybe you should take the hint. If I go in Flemetary, it says, like a street walker, way past her prime. Chief Roadsides isn't pulling in the business despite the volume of cars driving past her corner. Owner Rutledge Silway is wary of the state of things and looking for fresher meat. Bruh. Alright. If I go cautious, silly related that despite more highway traffic, it's not been gained economically. I'll, I'll, do, I'll keep it safe. Hi, Ross. You get What? I'm just writing the truth. Man, down, ain't right. Got it. Jesus, what a dick. He's a bully. It's like I never left high school. If anyone's got it worse than me in this world, it's gotta be Jim Larman. At the end of the day, at least I'm not the shit wiper for Chief Road Size. I learned the hard way not to piss off the wrong woman. At least I lived to tell the tale. Always good if you're still kicking to count the scars. Camera is still working you over with their claws, Jack. Still. Doubt it's ever gonna end. Not as long as you've got a kid together. She just wants what's best for Reggie. Yeah? What if she decides taking full custody is best for him? I'd fight her to the bitter end. Looks like somebody finally escaped from the bathroom. Eula Dean, town planner for Cypress Knee. Gary Buckingham's co-conspirator. Be nice to get her side of the scandal. I understand your concerns, Jack, but can't you see how good Golden Cypress would be for our town? It could be amazing. But if it's so great, why the skullduggery? It's just the way things have to work. No one gets hurt. 
Jefferson Dean Gallant suffered enough, don't you think? Mr. Gallant could benefit from Golden Cypress, too, if he'd just listen to reason. It's not like you've given him much reason to trust you. I hope we can count on your support going forward. I'll support any plans you have for going straight to burning hell. Jack Bellet, we must talk. I can't wait to hear this guy raving about the evils of Chief Roadsides again. It's going to end in a cataclysm, Jack. Everybody deals with their own personal apocalypse sometime. The spirits grow angrier. They will lay waste to the abominations that fester here. If I were them, I'd be pissed too. Flee, Jack Bellet. Take your family and escape this place while it remains within your power to do so. Let's not go overboard with the melodrama. When the time comes for regrets, remember. You were warned. Roger that. Oh, wow. You're the newspaper reporter, huh? Let me guess. Fan rage blogger? Must suck to be you. That blogger girl sure packs a punch. Might need to get a cut man for this eye before the night's out. The past is past. Gotta wrap up this investigation, take the studio's money, Think about what's next. I'm still worried Miller's playing me. I'm pretty sure Rutt doesn't allow pets in his motel. I'm just working the current case for Red Eclipse Studios. Barely sure they'd find bed bugs picking at my bones by morning if I stayed here. You're Casey Gaddis, right? Sure feels like it most days. I knew your daddy back in the day. Your mama, too. Didn't you kick them out of the watch for trying to get a table for dinner among the white folk? Just following my manager's rules at the time. Nothing personal. Just business, huh? Look, son, don't come round here grinding that old axe. Your people got those simple rights now. I think you mean civil rights. Ain't got nothing to do with some crazy lady with a bunch of personalities. So Jefferson Dean Gallant tells me y'all want to knock down his house and tear up the swamp for a natural gas pipeline. Our ex-mayor's a real drummer queen sometimes. Don't you mean drama queen? We ain't got nothing to do with sick sickness. Is Gallant telling the truth? He's blowing it way out of context. I mean, yeah, his shack may suffer some structural indignity issues, but he can build another shack. I suspect you meant structural integrity issues. Ain't got nothing to do with insurance policies. I got my dad down. Down there. What the fuck? Fifty dollars a night. No pets. And that means no dogs. No ferrets either. Do I look like I'm packing ferrets? Have we met? I don't think so. Heard of your family, of course. We go way back in Cypress Knee, true enough. Aloysius Silloway served as an attaché to General Robert E. Lee during the War for Southern Independence. Uh, that's a cat. General Robert E. Lee. He's a Confederate dude who <laughs> believes in slavery and wanted to keep it. Come on now. Funny how a bunch of people in the South wouldn't end up independent if the Rebels won, isn't it? Well, when you put it that way, sure, it sounds bad. 
This big development across the road could boost Chief Roadsides. Maybe. Might be the last nail in our coffin, too. Oh, of course, they might buy me out. That'd be fine. Sorry. Your work's important. I'm just an old, retired mama in an empty nest. Don't you worry about me. I'm in town working the tag current case. So sad. A life cut short like that. Reminds me of your father. The damn church did him in too. I'm no fan of the Church of Us, but it might have been the spurned girlfriend who got him killed. I'm off to the festival. Come find me when you get a break. I won't leave town without seeing you. Better not. You'll make your mom cry. Don't worry. Casey Gas, it's been way too long, man. Good to see you again. I haven't missed this place much. You still play much maps in mischief? Not since I was a kid. If you want to move back, now's the time. Golden Cypress awaits. Yeah, that project keeps coming up. Something special. Everyone thinks it's going to turn Cypress Knee back into a boom town. Hope that works out. Boss tells us you left this town a long time ago. Boss thinks maybe... Yeah, well, Gordo might call the shots inside that ugly bus of yours, but he's got no authority out here. Accidents can happen anywhere. I'm not a big fan of bullies. You've been warned, Gaddis. Tell your boss he's the one who ought to leave town. I should probably make another report now. Better check those receipts. Well, you're a fat-faced old man with a bad haircut. At least I don't get my hair color from a bleach bottle. Shut your face, geezer. Careful, Jack. This kitty's got claws. I don't have time for you geriatrics anyway. I'm taking a look at that tower. Nothing to see there. Kern's at the morgue by now. I'm going up there. For reasons. Shut up. Really don't want to sleep in my car tonight. Definitely don't want a room at the Mohawk Inn. Not sure I can stomach my childhood bedroom. Seriously? 
Maybe the universe is trying to tell you something. Never been a fan of following instructions. I'll just track down Remy and see if he can get me up that tower. Later, old dudes. dark. Probably because something's up there the bad guys don't want us to know. If I can find who's really behind this madness, Remy won't ever cut me loose from fan rage. Maybe it was the greasy fast food I ate on the road last night. But I had such a nightmare. Slipped, fell into a churning sea. And I... I did my best to keep my head above water, and then... The universe told me I'd get all pruny in my watery grave. Remy bet you didn't know ancient Greeks called Lavender Nardus. Nardus. They said it wrong. That doesn't sound anything like lavender. Oh, Remy just jam packed with useful facts like that. Got any useful facts about the tower? It went dark, and I want to go up for a look around. Could be Remy help you. What have you got in mind? Remy take care of the gator pit here at Chief Road Sides. Mm. Right now it's time to feed old jump. Okay, well, we're not looking forward to that. It doesn't ring a bell. He's a star attraction here. Big old gator. I've never heard of him. You're lost, Cher. Good news is, ain't too late to fix that. What does Jumper eat? Big old Jumper, he can't resist a tasty chicken in a diaper. Pick up what, what? we need from the fun and few. What's so appealing about chicken in a diaper? Looks like a chubby little infant to that old gator. Gets him hungry every time. Back soon. Wow. Strikes me as odd, Miss Teague, a civilian getting information from a device locked in a crime scene? I don't burn sources, Chief Pendleton. I'd tread lightly on this business about the church and Kern's insurance policy, if I were you. What's a big cult church got to fear from a little blogger like me? So I was reading your blog. You picked up some interesting tidbits about our little town. I do what I can to keep it fresh. Uncle Dad, that's my cousin. Family reunions are an absolute freak show. I'd buy a ticket to that circus. Good to see you got your boy Bellet on a tight leash. Can you say the same about the blogger girl? We've got an ace in the hole waiting for her. Don't sweat it.
Remy bet you didn't know a baby uses 6,000 diapers in the first two. Oh, hey, Cher. Why'd you tell me to come get these things if you plan to be here? Remy is a complicated man. That's certainly one word for it. Don't be grumpy, Cher. Let Remy show you feeding time with old Jumper. You promised useful information for my help. Ah, uh, right. Remy delivered on a promise. Cops got the teepee tower closed off. Took fuse for the lights. Old Jim Larman got a spare if you want to look at the crime scene. Where's Larman now? Remy bet you find him in Rabbit's Run, Cher. The big palmetto maze. Keeps his supplies out there. Now, Jumper? Might as well. Remy bet you don't know what drove old Gallant into the swamps all those years ago. Big old gator named Merle mistook Gallant's wee baby for a diaper chicken. Gator got away off in the yonder swamp. Gallant? He ain't been right since. Wabbit's run. Kern's not the story. His girlfriend's not news either. Go on. What's the story? The way you see it. Those crazy weeists, the movie people, even the town politicos, they're all in on a new development that's gonna destroy my home. Weeists and actors and bureaucrats, oh my! How do they hide it? By distracting people like you with dead actors. The world needs to know about the travesty of Golden Cypress, kid. Thousands of homes, retail shops, and a natural gas pipeline. Hmm. Sounds like a recipe for economic upturn in a rundown town. Sure, cover a dog turd with gold spray paint and it looks like a valuable nugget. Until you dig a little deeper. Did you ever find the gator that ate your baby? Ate my boy. Took my wife's arm. Big albino bastard named Merle. No. Ain't caught him. Not yet. Have you given up the hunt? Never. Gallant's a loon. Chief's not going to like it. Like I said, a big fan. I wish I knew more about Anonymous. Time to make the clickbait. The hits just keep coming. Not everyone's a fan of the new Golden Cypress development, their chief. Jean Odin, a local swamp dweller, used the occasional tag to raise awareness about perceived threats. Locals expect the development could bring new life to a fading.
Conspirators are using Karen's death to distract from destructive developments in Cypher Swamp. To cover a dog covered ghost ray and it looks like a valuable nugget until you dig a little deeper. A grumpy old swamp rat named <laughs> What he didn't like. Keeping busy tonight, eh? Remy claims you keep extra fuses for the tower elevator. I want to look at that crime scene. Hey, now look, I doubt the cops want civvies stomping around up here. I won't touch anything. Just getting details for my story. You know what the hell. Just don't tell them I gave it to you. I don't want to lose what little I've got here. Done. Oh my god. <laughs> All right, L1, R1 to select, drop, rotate. Uh, no way for your room. I need red, blue. Okay, we're hot blue and green. Where's the blue and green? Green and yellow. This one looks like a girl.
Oh wait. Bring that back. Bring it back. Okay, well. That's more like it. Okay. You take care up there. The only way to fall is a trip. Wait, what are you doing here? Once again, breaking the rules bites me right on the ass. Can't let them get away with this. Why don't he just shank both of them? You shouldn't be snooping around here, Miss T. Jim Larman's been stabbed. He's in the maze. Suspect ran this way. Same person probably killed Tad Kern. If we catch him, maybe he'll turn evidence against Miss Gray here. You've got it all wrong. I didn't do anything. I'd never hurt Tad. Son of a bitch. I couldn't save everybody. I'll make that lunatic pay. Don't do anything stupid, Miss T. Too much blood already shed. I gotta know where this leads, Chief. Making a dangerous choice here. I don't know what's waiting up top. Kern's dead. Larman's probably dead. I couldn't save everybody when the letter fell. I've got to stop him before anyone else dies. Hope I live long enough to make another post. Up we go. I won't save myself. <laughs> I probably could have saved you now. speak well of the church if it demands blood to survive. It's less about sacrifice, more about loyalty. Mr. Kern made the church the beneficiary of a significant insurance policy. Your reporting prevented the policy's nullification. Thank you. You use me to fatten the church coffers? Like... I'll be happy to. Share the wealth. Turn our torpid town into a dynamic engine of modern commerce. Only if we can keep our dealings well concealed. Have a little faith, you and The church won't let us down. It's not the church I'm worried about. Ramona T could... Wreck it all if you want. 
but that'd be a mistake. The church can make you rich. We can be a powerful ally and a devoted friend. I've seen what the church does to its friends. All in the name of greed. Greed? You graduated from the kiddie pool. You're swimming in the big blue sea. And it's not. All bad. All of them. And if we can't stop their schemes, we'll lose Cypress Swamp. They'll obliterate our sacred tribal lands. We can't do this all on our own. Between the crazed cult fanatics and dirty politicians, we're totally outgunned. The spirits won't abide this madness. And that blogger girl can help us. She... Get your mind right. We're so much closer than you think, Romana. Let me help you. Let me try to make up for all the lost years. I think your brain's overheating, old man. Casey Gaddis got it all wrong 20 years ago. Boy, Conover's not your father. I never loved your mother. But she pleased me. And she proved useful in getting Conover out of my way. Why would Mom lie to me all this time? Shame, I expect. The burden of a troubled conscience. I'm not so weak. I sure hope Courtney fed my goldfish. Just remember, little girl, immortality is the only option. Why would he do that? Why claim he's my father and then jump to his death? Why do any of this? It makes no sense. So much blood on his hands. And it goes back years. He used me to get what he wanted. Just like he used Casey Gaddis. Well, Gaddis isn't much of a martyr. He wrecked Mom's life, and poor boy Conover got caught in the crossfire. Immortality is the only option. I've heard that bit of weeist gibberish before. That's two prominent members of the Church of Us, dead in one day at Chief Roadsides. Not good for their sales brochure. Rutledge bet you didn't know neutering a ferret too young causes them to get cancer. So I say snip all the ferret babies. Right, Jumper? <laughs> Jumper? Again. Meanwhile, at the Cypress Mead Town Lord, the doctors examined the body of Tagger. That's odd. Tag Kerr never got an appendectomy, according to his records. Yet here's a scar. Huh. Remember Ray Joe Swayhill? He got an emergency appendectomy a few years back. Oh, yeah, right. So? He won a Tag Kern look-alike contest at the Founders Day Festival back in 1997. Wait, so everyone's freaking out about the wrong dead guy? Might be worse than that. Ray Joe's brother Jack is in drawer three. Ozzy Clan Denny called it in as an accidental death. So where's the real tag her? The Prologue Theater. Thank you for providing an excellent performance of Knee Deep, Act One, Wonderland. Remember where you're sitting, and come back for Act Two, Festival. The end. For now. <sighs> All right. But why say I'm really your father and then jump it? Why do all this?
spot. That's it for Playwright 1. Um, we'll do part 2 later. And if you're watching this on YouTube, you're already a day behind. So you should see it the next day. See you guys later. Bye.